Mr. Ifoma Onyeje, Quay Fix Income Trader at UBA, joins us now for more details of uh, market action today. Ijoma, thank you for taking the time out to join us. Uh, just briefly bring us up to speed on how that auction uh, panned out today, subscription levels and the stop rates that we saw. Thank you, Esther, for having me. Um, so just has, has been um, at previous auctions for the past few months. We saw huge demand at today's um, primary market auction. But meanwhile, we are expecting the stop rates to be released, which will be done normally after trading hours. However, um, this week in the Treasury deal secondary market, it started off as a very calm note, even as we saw a huge decline in system liquidity due to the industry CRR debit last week on Friday creating a huge gap in availability of liquidity. Um, however, with the payments of OMO maturities of about $243 billion yesterday, we observed bullish reactions as customers reinvested their maturities in the market. Um, today's trading session in the secondary market also experienced some bullish trades, even as demand far outstripped supply, as traders make haste to beef up their positions, even as they expect of net demand as the um, Nigerian Treasury deals um, primary auction today. Like you said, um, what was offered is less than what what was offered is less than um, the treasury bills maturing. So we saw a huge demand both in the primary and secondary market today. I'd like us to just quickly talk about that because I've been keeping my eye on the 364-day uh, T-bill and uh, we've seen it go below 1% and traders you know, keep telling us that there's still room for it to go even lower. But I'm just wondering, at what point uh, yes. do you foresee uh, a resistance point? Um, the resistance point would have to be um, next year because right now, from now to the end of the year, we expect about 2.6 trillion treasury bills and over maturity to trickle into the system. So we still have a lot more maturities. And though we've seen some investors move from the fixed income market to the equity market, we still expect um, the risk-averse investors to remain in the fixed income space. However, we expect more of the activities to be in the bond space rather than the treasury bill space because yields are much more attractive in the, in the bond space right now than the treasury bill um, space. Like you said, the yields are currently at sub 1% levels and we expect them to go lower. We see um, people buying one-year bills at 0.5%, 0.4%. So yeah, the yields are still expected to go lower, especially, especially as we expect more maturity to trickle into the market. So until next year, where we um, uh, we heard um, last month that the federal government is set to borrow about $11 billion, we expect a reversal to happen next year. But from now to the end of the year, we still expect rates to go lower, even as, as lower as 0.1% if um, the trend continues just as we've seen it. Well, what are your thoughts on the, uh, I mean, corporates who are now able to issue commercial papers at much you know, lower rates? Uh, how is this changing the dy dynamics of the market? Corporates have had a few day because of the reduced interest rate. Um, however, we people are still risk averse because we know that commercial papers, they are still high risk papers more than the government issued securities. So although they've had, you know, a few day with um, the low interest rates, and they've actually seen some um, some of their papers, like I know uh, Mixer and Dangote, some of their papers have actually been oversubscribed. However, we still see a lot a lot of investors still play in the fixed income market and then the equity market more than the um, more than borrowing more than um, investing their um, monies in commercial papers.